मिस आकांक्षा गुप्ता बी पी एस सी एग्जाम टॉपर विद द रैंक ऑफ वन जीरो फाइव बी पी एस सी एग्जाम इट्स अ स्टेट सर्विस एग्जाम इट इज़ वेरी टफ टू क्रैक यू नो सो आई पर्सनली फील फॉर एनी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन आपके अंदर वो फ्यूएल होना चाहिए टू स्ट्रेच आउसर थ्रू आउट द जर्नी राइट फ्रॉम ऑल द थ्री स्टेजेस Hello everyone my name is Vartika Tyagi and welcome to the Hindu Zone today we have a very special guest with us Ms Akansha Gupta a BPSC exam topper with the rank of 105 Hello Akansha welcome to the show and many many congratulations for this amazing success thank you Okay so for our viewers who are not be familiar with the BPSC exam it's a state service exam it is very tough to crack you know but uh, uh, every uh, every year nearly 4.5 lakh students appear for this exam uh, but only a small fraction of students can crack it so yeah and secondly we have with us none of the other mr jithin lal sir so the most famous upsc teacher uh how to how to study for upsc exam and what are the most important topics to cover for upsc exams these are some questions people uh, aspirants ask mr jitin sir about it and uh, today we got this chance to be with him and ask him some very interesting questions so welcome sir thank you so much so coming back to you akansha i we all are very happy for your success and i'm sure your friends and family must be too so uh, how was it like like how i what was your initial feeling when you get to know that you have cracked the exam yes it was a feeling of exaltation ji khushi to bahut hui thi ha exam crack hua so yes it was a happy feeling all together so how was it like did you know it first or someone else cracked the news to you no i knew um, it was a group where the result was published so i yes i checked it myself i got it my the news myself so akansha can you tell uh, tell us about your journey and about everything like how did you start it and what was the strategies you follows and uh, the result when came then to kaisa aapko laga sab kuch kaisa tha सब कुछ इट वॉज अ लॉन्ग प्रोसेस आई पर्सनली फील एंड दिस सिक्सटी सेवन बी पी एस सी वॉज ऑल द मोर लॉन्ग बिकॉज इसकी प्री भी एक और बार हुई थी एंड इट इट ऑलमोस्ट वन एंड हाफ ईयर ये कवर हुआ था सो आई पर्सनली फील फॉर एनी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन आपके अंदर वो फ्यूएल होना चाहिए टू स्ट्रेच आउट सर थ्रू आउट द जर्नी राइट फ्रॉम ऑल द थ्री स्टेजेस सो येस इट वॉज अ लॉन्ग प्रोसेस बट इट वॉज वर्थ स्पेंडिंग ऑन इट so what uh, motivated you to pursue a career in a upsc exam matlab uh, who motivated you for this some trees are planted by will while some trees are planted by wild seeds i don't know where this motivation was but there was a natural inclination towards it and just i followed my instincts very nice so uh, can you please tell us about your preparation strategy for upsc what was the daily routine what was the strategies you use or what was the you know uh, test series and everything please tell us about uh, that's the again a most common question that has been asked to all the successful candidates again but i personally feel there's no strategy it's your strategy it's all almost, almost your strategy however one thing which worked out for me was uh which i found that was something different and i it used it worked for me was uh, listening jaise ki hum pehle bhi dekhte the shruti shruti literature ka kafi kaam hota tha to wo cheez tha ki i used to listen a lot of things rather than it's often said ki writing and reading are two important perspectives but apart from it i would like to put the third perspective of listening also i used to record the lectures myself and used to listen them i record the answers the important points that i had wrote it down and listen them so listen listening i would point out as one of the important thing that helped me so you have told me that you are from bihar so i was asking you ki bihar se itne sare log upsc ki taraf aa rahe hain exams crack kar rahe hain civil services mein aa rahe hain to ab kya kehna chahenge iske bare mein like we all are very curious ki kya hai aisa मुझे लगता है बिहार की मिट्टी में ही होगी लेकिन ये कहना गलत है कि सिर्फ बिहार से नाउ यू पी एस सी हैज़ बीन ऑल टुगेदर ऑल ओवर अट्रैक्टिंग स्टूडेंट्स फ्राम अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड अक्रॉस द ग्लोब आई शुड से विद नेबरिंग कंट्रीज टू ऑल्सो हैव पार्टिसिपेशन सो येस सो वी आर कमिंग बैक टू यू सर सर 
कैसा रहा एक्सपीरियंस आकांक्षा के साथ आपका वो कैसी स्टूडेंट थी लाइक like, नटखट स्टूडेंट थी या वेरी शाई टाइप की सिर्फ पढ़ाई पे फोकस करना है एंड एवरीथिंग आप प्लीज़ बताइए बिफोर ये बताने से पहले कि कैसा रहा आकांक्षा के साथ एक्सपीरियंस उससे पहले मैं एक चीज़ बोलना चाहूँगा लाइक वंस आकांक्षा क्लियर द बी पी एस सी एग्जाम एंड शी वॉज टेलिंग मी द रिजल्ट द फर्स्ट थिंग शी टोल मे इज लाइक दिस इज़ अ जंक्शर वेर आई हैव टू स्टॉप फॉर अ वाइल मेरा बिगर ड्रीम है यू पी एस सी तो द जर्नी विल कंटिन्यू एंड शी हैज़ बीन अ सीरियस कैंडिडेट एंड शी कीप्स हर सेल्फ इन टू हर जोनड्रा वो उससे बाहर नहीं आती हैं वो ज़्यादा किसी से बात नहीं करती हैं तो नटकट तो नहीं कह सकते शी कीप्स थिंग्स टू हर सेल्फ वन थिंग आई अप्रिशिएट हर शी हैज़ अ वेरी क्लियर माइंड उनको पता है कि अगले हफ्ते उनको क्या करना है या एक महीने बाद उनको क्या करना है सो क्लैरिटी ऑफ थाट्स है जिसके वजह से उनको ये चीज़ बहुत हेल्प करते है आपको पता होना चाहिए आपके अगले तीन महीने चार महीने आपको क्या करना है कब आपको रिविजन करना है कब आपको टेस्ट सीरीज देना है शी हैज़ दैट थाट प्रोसेस एब्सोल्यूटली क्लियर एंड द जर्नी विल कंटिन्यू till she reaches the final destination it's just a juncture and she has been a fantastic student so as we all know that you teach is like a, a political science economics current affairs and one of my favorite history so what are the most uh, you know aise kaun se challenges hain jo aap face karte hain aur aap unhe kaise overcome karte hain aur itne sare subjects ko ek sath padhana how do you manage sir see पीपल यूजली थिंक दैट इट्स एन एरा ऑफ स्पेसिफिकेशन कि अगर एक टीचर एक ही सब्जेक्ट पढ़ा रहे हैं जैसे वो पॉलिटी के टीचर है पॉलिटी सब्जेक्ट uh, पढ़ा रहे हैं बट फॉर मी आई टीच मल्टीपल सब्जेक्ट्स तो एक ही टॉपिक को मल्टीपल डायमेंशंस में मल्टीपल सब्जेक्ट्स के तहत उसको एनालिसिस करने में वो बहुत ज़्यादा ईजी हो जाता है कोई भी अगर आप टॉपिक की बात करो सपोज कोई भी आप एक्स वाई जेड टॉपिक ले लीजिए उसको जोग्राफिकल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से हिस्टोरिकल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से और पोलिटिकल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से और करंट अफेयर्स के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से जब हम एनालिसिस करते हैं तब जाकर वो यू में या कोई भी स्टेट सर्विस एग्जामिनेशन में एक लॉन्ग आंसर अब उसके बारे में लिख पाते हैं तो वॉट आई फील यू नीड टू हैव सम सॉर्ट ऑफ ग्रिप ओवर एवरी सब्जेक्ट्स बट इफ़ यू हैव द क्लैरिटी एंड इफ़ यू नो द कंसेप्ट राइट यू कैन डिलीवर इट टू द स्टूडेंट्स एंड ओनली थिंक द मेथडोलॉजी ऑफ टीचिंग शुड बी आई ट्राई टू कीप द मेथडोलॉजी वेरी कोलोकियल सो द स्टूडेंट्स कैन इंट्रैक्ट विथ मी एंड लर्न दैट्स वॉट आई डू सर कैन यू प्लीज इलेबरेट द रोल ऑफ करेंट अफेयर्स इन द यू पी एस सी एंड स्टेट पी सी एस एग्जाम्स यू टीच द यू द करेंट अफेयर्स राइट सो कैन यू प्लीज इलेबरेट इट फॉर आर व्यूअर्स इन एवरी वन सी इफ यू हैव टू क्लियर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स लाइक बी पी एस सी यू पी एस सी और एनी एग्जाम्स नाव एड इज करंट अफेयर्स इज हैविंग अ ह्यूज रोल ह्यूमंगस रोल ऑफ करंट अफेयर्स इज देयर बिकॉज द कमीशन सेट्स द पेपर नॉट with the help of the static topics the commissions take the current affairs they, they look into the current affairs and they again go into the depth of the current affairs and ask something from the static suppose a political scenario is going on suppose a political scenario is going on the commission will definitely ask the question from that political scenario and they will uh, uh, like mix it with the static topic and uh, current affairs has a huge role if a student has a grip over current affairs so the student has an extra advantage to clear the paper so current affairs has no escape right akansha yes <laughs> so akansha coming back to you uh, what challenges did you face at, uh, when you were preparing for uh, this uh, exam aur kaise aapne overcome kiya in sare challenges ko jo daily basis pe hame dekhne ko milta because not every day is same right so how did you overcome all those challenges Uh, challenges to be it's a very specific challenges right and jotting down each would be again two specifics different students would have their own set of challenges however one of the challenges was with respect to medium also because ka jo regional since it was a regional service commission main hindi ke akbaron ko refer karti thi but since i was uh, my medium to answer was in english so that uh, language challenges was there but still uh, Uh, it can be overcome with the help of your mentors friends and obviously internet internet is the solution to everything it's only it's your effort that matters okay you're talking about the internet so uh, while you were preparing for the exam were you active on any social media platform because every uh, viewer who who is watching watching it right now everyone is like ki kya hame social media band kar deni chahiye sab kuch khatam kar dena chahiye phone se jitna dur ho sake utna dur rehna chahiye aapka kya point of view hai aapki kya strategy thi 
yes i was active on the social medias which i used to follow or which i am on and i'm still very much active on to it yes but still it's not end but limit okay so many aspirants find the personality test like uh, the interview test is very tough everybody says it तो आपने वो कैसे किया लाइक हाउ डिड यू मेंटेन योर सेल्फ टू गो देयर इन पूरा पैनल होता है एंड यू आर सिटिंग देयर सो इज देर एनी नर्वसनेस और समथिंग क्या चीज़ थी जिसमें आपने सब चीज़ों को बीट किया एंड यू हैव टॉक it's a journey and as you proceed towards the journey right from the first step as a students new beginners freshers find it difficult but however as soon as they would proceed and start crossing each and every barrier as a pre parkia mains parkia it's called emancipation of mind you emancipate and you evolve over the period of time so by the time you cross your mains and it's you give few mock interviews to face it it's all comfortable so we are talking about the mock interviews so you also given the mock interviews and test and every uh, test series so test series mock interviews wo kaise help karte hain ek student ko apni personality develop karne mein aur wahan tak pahunchne mein confidence building would be again for mock interviews and yes confidence building i would say dikor and as far as test series is concerned it gives a reality check for that matter so if you want to ask something to akansha see I I like to ask her a simple question. It's like during this journey you might have faced endless obstacles. As an aspirant also she might have faced different challenges. Like whom do you idolize? Like there would there would be some idol who would uh, whom would uh, they like they would motivate you to crack this exam. Whom do you idolize? um there are many people who my that's called uh, disciplined eclecticism that is taking good from everything and just moving forward however one thing is sunil chhetri is there's them keep doing it that thing there's a reel in instagram also or any of the social media feel good sunil chhetri keep doing it you just type and you listen to that that's 30 seconds of it is so motivating and so inspiring so that is something that and that's the strategy keep doing it consistency Okay so before we wrap up this interview I have one last question for you yes. what is your advice to the aspirants who are preparing for UPSC and BPSC or civil services exams what is your advice to them I would again reply keep doing it <laughs> being consistent apart from that keep it very simple this I had taken from Dhoni also after the world cup keep it very simple just keep it direct simple approach zyada dimag lagana hi nahi hai ispe and the third thing is coming from bihar bud ki dharti se aa rahi hu ab deepam bhava that is be your own light keep believing in yourself okay that's it so if you want to ask anything you can ask see i don't want, want to ask her anything more uh one thing she has promised me like after the result also like i will be there for the classes and i will continue studying and i'll crack the upsc this is what her mother also wants and i hope she comes with flying colors in the upsc examination as well we all are very proud of her we all are very proud of her and only thing what uh, we suggest to her is stay grounded stay humble and the bigger things are waiting for you thank you sir I can't say you want to say anything to our viewers to the coaching institute yes thank you to everyone for this opportunity i'm all all full of gratitude abhar abhinandan apar prem mai hu aapki apni akanksha wow so thank you again for uh, being here mr jitin lal and miss akanksha gupta i'm be, i'm being very honored to be here with you guys and thank you for our viewers to watch our video and if you like our video please do like share and comment on this video and please subscribe the channel thank you so much